Hello everyone. I'm just finishing up my makeup for the day. And I was like, let's just turn on the camera and we're gonna vlog. So if you missed my last video, I shared with you guys that we have officially moved and I figured I should you know, show you guys some house updates. The house is literally nowhere near being finished. Um, I'm not really the type to do like a full on house tour, but I'll show you guys basically our empty home <laughs> because we have like no furniture. And whose fault is that? It's mine. It's my fault because I'm in charge of that and I just cannot commit. So if you're expecting like a really cute decorated furnished home, you're going to be waiting and I, uh, I would not recommend holding your breath because <laughs> it's going to be a long time. But anyways, um, I'm just finishing up my makeup. I have just, I don't know. I've been trying to do my makeup more often recently because it makes me feel better about myself. Um, if you've ever been pregnant, I feel like you probably understand, like, especially towards the end, you start to just feel like so ugly and huge and just i don't know doing my makeup at least just a little bit helps me feel a little bit more put together i'm not wearing cute outfits like that that stage we are past that stage what is a cute outfit a cute outfit is something that is comfortable that's what it is <laughs> i'm wearing baggy stuff um leggings uh slippers and if i have to leave the house i'm just putting on like a puffer bus because it's cold and my big winter jackets they don't even fit and then they make me feel even huger so i don't know but do i want to add anything else makeup wise i don't know just maybe a little bit more lip liner i feel like i've been getting the uh Pregnancy lips, kind of. I feel like they're slightly more plump, but then I really enhance that with lip liner. But yeah, I wanted to kind of just get super real with you guys because I have so much anxiety. It's like not even funny. Um, highly would not recommend moving super pregnant i just i feel like i can't breathe i wake up in the night and i'm just like oh my god what is happening like i'm i'm feeling more settled in my home but the fact that i just don't know when she's gonna come is like really stressing me out and instead of like scrambling to get all the things done like order more furniture or um put our nursery together or anything like that i just want to do absolutely nothing because i have no energy to do so and then i don't know i just feel like you guys are expecting me to have this like really cute home or like really cute outfits right now and i just feel like i have nothing to like contribute or share that's like good or positive because i just feel so like even talking about it right now i feel like my heart is like starting to like race youtube just makes me feel like dude you don't have your shit together why does your house look like this why is the lighting bad like why is it not edited that great and i feel like i'm gonna get a lot of hate for saying this but i've really been treating youtube like a job because you know i'm not really motivated to film a video when i am when I know that it makes me feel anxious, but I have like videos that I'm, you know, um, already on the schedule that I'm committed to, that obviously I'm getting paid for, and that's kind of my incentive to keep going. But on the days that, you know, I don't have a sponsored video, it's like really hard for me to want to pick up the camera when I start to feel like this. And I don't really know how to get out of this like weird funk because I've been feeling this way for a while and i don't know what it is i i don't know i think maybe it's just because it's there's so much that goes into a youtube video that it's like oh my god it has to be perfect it has to be perfect and um then it's there's so much that's involved and then 
no one really watches it and i know it's like not a big deal because the people who are watching it like you guys are my people and you deserve content um but i just get in my head so much about it and like my filming room for example i don't have like any furniture in there we didn't bring like any furniture from the old house because um we're selling it and i wanted to keep a lot of furniture in there to stage and that furniture doesn't even fit in this house anyway like it doesn't even go like it's not the vibe they don't really want to be so negative and whatever but this is how i've been feeling and you know i feel like you guys kind of deserve an explanation but i don't know hopefully you're not mad at me i just feel like the past two years of my life have been so stressful with so much going on and so much happening and so much change and the change is not even here yet like that's what the part that makes me even more nervous is like once the baby gets here like it's not going to get easier it's only going to get harder in terms of balancing things so i just i don't know i'm like super in my head about it and if i am absent on youtube i'm sorry like way to start off the video sml like super negative and depressing but that that is, it is what it is. It is what it is. But we're going to move on from this. And we're going to make the rest of the video try to be fun, right? We're going to try to make fun things happen. So let me just take off the tripod and I will show you guys around the house a little bit. So we'll do that. And this is where I've been keeping all my makeup recently. Just in this drawer that has sawdust in it. Um, the lady who ordered our cabinets did not order the correct ones so um it's supposed to have a cutout to accommodate for plumbing she did not order that so tommy literally had to like cut it so there's like legit sawdust in there so anyways number one tip in life that i've discovered just from living in this house for like a few weeks drawers a big ass deep ass drawers are your best friend do not do cabinets if you do do cabinets make sure they have big ass drawers inside of them I'm telling you, just like life changing to not have to reach back into a cabinet. So this is where all my like day to day beauty stuff has been. So while I'm in the bathroom, I'll figure I'll show you guys because this is like my favorite room in the house that I like designed and it's pretty done besides like the closets, but I absolutely love our bathroom. So um, I don't know if I had showed you guys like all of these like details, but the chevron wood look tile, the like dramatic marble looking countertops, the reeded or fluted glass for this cabinet, the brass, the mirrors, like literally everything about this bathroom is like a dream for me. And also toilet room i don't know what it was but i was like i don't want to ever freaking look at a toilet unless i am on it so <laughs> i was adamant about having like a toilet room so obviously there's a toilet in there we don't need to like show you but truly i'm obsessed with this bathroom like i love everything about it like just perfection minus that one light fixture it's super ugly brass everything else we love i really hope for one day for this to be letta hand soap and hand cream but for now the way will do then over here we have our shower our tub this light fixture i thought was like a nice little play on the Reeded moment, fluted moment over here. I mentioned this in a video recently, but shower stool, major key, especially if you're pregnant, like just buy one. Just buy one, it's cute as shit, and <laughs> I spend a lot of time there. I spend a lot of time there. So yeah, that's our shower. I need to get window fixtures for basically the entire home. We have, um, I think two curtains in the whole house. So yeah, this is just like my favorite room. We have our closets, which are a work in progress. Tommy has been working on building his closet 
and then we're gonna do mine so this is what he has so far they need to do like the drawer fronts and all that but they've been building everything um and then mine will be in here he has like all of his like stuff in here and I've been living out of that Rubbermaid bin basically it's just full of like sweaters and leggings the baby's bassinet is in there we should probably dig that out might need that <laughs> but yeah this will be my closet also major key we put the um, washer and dryer in the closet Tommy's closet because obviously you know mine I need more space uh, put that in there life-changing like it's so nice just to have it right there this will probably be like an unpopular opinion but I did not want like a full-on laundry room like I would rather use that square footage for a place that I would actually want to spend my time um, I hate doing laundry I don't want to I don't want a whole room dedicated to something that I dislike so much so that's probably an unpopular opinion but yeah so this is our master uh bedroom we have three sleepy dogs um not a whole lot of furniture i have nightstands in this bed i love everything about this bed i have been raving about it in my last video on instagram just the best um then over here we'll open this up for you we got a nice view of the muddy back yard then here we have our living room this is pretty much the only furniture that we have in our house uh, we have two couches two chairs another for a dog bed they're literally everywhere and then we have this really beautiful end table um it's actually a pack and play box but we have been loving it <laughs> as an end table uh and then over here we just have the kitchen it's a mess I feel like it's an empty mess, like an empty cluttered mess. Does that make sense? But I love our kitchen. So freaking in love with the counters that need to be cleaned. I love the gold that we did, the knobs, the amazing Ilve range we have. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how to use it. It's so complicated, but it's beautiful. Um, I got my Valentine's Day flowers over there still. Yeah, I haven't really like styled any shelves or anything. Tommy's got like wine up there, scotch, whatever. But um, like I said before, dude, drawers. Everything should be drawers. We have like, I don't know, just a few cabinets. But even like this, like that's got a drawer in it. If you're doing a kitchen or bathrooms, just... Just do drawers, okay? Do drawers. Over here, we've got our pantry. Again, there's just tons of like random crap in here. Nothing is like styled or cute, but you know, we got our microwave. Another like unpopular opinion, I did not do like a microwave drawer or like a built-in microwave. Those are like $1,500 and I just don't really care that much, you know? So we have a countertop microwave. Is that controversial? Is it tacky? I don't know, but that's what we have. <laughs> and then I ordered a dining room table that's supposed to go here. Um, it's just like a travertine rectangle table. Haven't ordered chairs yet because I kind of wanted to wait until the table came. But the table has been taking like 10 weeks. So I don't know. We're at a standstill with that. But this is the green room, which is going to be kind of just like a sitting room. Tommy insisted on having this furry thing on the floor. But. You know, he want he really wants this room to be like his vibe. So I'm trying to relinquish control. Um, yeah, there's just a, a bunch of books and that that dude on the floor. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we got our, our stairs, and then probably one of my favorite rooms in the house is the powder room. I love this room. So yeah, we just did this like really like bold tile on the floor and then dark moody paint on the ceiling and all of the trim and then this really gorgeous marble slab sink. Like it's just such a vibe in here, which I love. Um, this mirror is super dirty, but it's like a really kind of like 
unique shape. It's like a shield almost. Okay, my dogs are freaking out because I'm hiding in this room. Sorry, I didn't mean to make you nervous. Right now, let's head upstairs. Show you, I almost said her name. Show you the baby's room uh, again. <laughs> this room is a mess, but you know, she's not gonna be in here for several months. I figure I have at least until summertime because um, she's just gonna be in the bassinet in our room, so I have time for here. But dresser's supposed to be getting delivered. We have a crib, just we haven't put it together yet. And then this is just like all the baby stuff that we have. So much stuff. And so really the only thing I've purchased like decor wise um, is this <laughs> crib skirt from the Love Shack Fancy Pottery Barn Kids collab. Um, they have a bunch of stuff. I ordered this from them. Um, I just thought it was so just like dainty and pretty and I'm gonna kind of use this as inspo. I really wanted to do um, maybe some sort of wallpaper. Tommy is like not really on board, but I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm really on board either because I have commitment issues and I feel like I will like hate it. So I'm not really sure. But this kind of is like my starting point. Like I just want like really like light airy vibes with like hints of like florals. So we got that. This is a piece of molding that's gonna go above here. Tell me why she has a hundred dollar bill above her closet door. I don't, I don't know. I did not put that there. And so we did that trim above this door also. I just thought it was like so sweet and like elegant and pretty. Like, is that not the cutest door trim you ever did see? The answer is yes, it is. Obviously we just have the stairway over here. Then here's just a guest bedroom. Nothing really to see in here. We'll put a bed in here for guests. We literally never have guests. Um, but if, if we do have one, we're putting them in here. Uh, then we have our guest bathroom. I love this bathroom also. Again, the light fixtures, these are so ugly brass. I don't know, there's just like two light fixtures in, the, fixtures in this house that I cannot stand the tone of brass. And I didn't really notice it until everything was put together. But yeah, this vanity is gorgeous. I love it so much and it was actually from uh, Wayfair, so really good find and then we have Just a little shower in here And I love the tile we did it's kind of like hard to see but it's like this um, Iridescent subway tile. Oh, there you go. It kind of reminds me of like mermaid, you know but We did that and then like a marble basket weave on the floor and then in here we have what will be like my filming room. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do in here. It's not a huge space. It's kind of just like a small little bedroom. Uh, this is the light fixture I got. Isn't that fun? But yeah, I have just like my, all my bags. I really am thinking about selling some of my designer bags cause I just, I don't know. I have like three that I actually use and the others are just Meh. And you may recognize these from the old house, but all of the makeup that I brought fits in like two drawers. I pretty much got rid of everything else. I donated it or gave it away. So I'm really impressed with myself. It'll accumulate quickly though, I'm sure. And this drawer, this is like a ghost drawer. It will not stay shut anymore. I don't know what happened. Over here is just like our entryway. I got this like art light, so I need to get some art <laughs> under there. But yeah, I have just so many like random sconces. They weren't really like well planned out though. So if you're doing a house, just be mindful of sconces because our electrician put them all so freaking high up that I was like so limited in my options. Like I could only really pick ones that pointed downwards and that's super annoying. So probably at some point I will have them like swap them out and lower them. But right now if I took it out, there would be a hole in the wall. So yeah, um, downstairs is just our basement. It's not finished yet. That's like a whole other project that maybe we'll do next year. But for right now, Tommy just has like all of his gym equipment down there. So behind me over here, we have our fridge and freezer and it will not always look like this. It's supposed to have matching um, cabinet panels. 
that go over top, but they have still not arrived. So we have this lovely um, just door situation, but uh, I'll show you guys what's inside. There's not really much inside. Since we've moved, I haven't really stocked the fridge much. Um, yeah, we don't have really much in here. Oh, down here we have this beverage drawer which is stacked with all my body armor. I've been loving body armor. Um, what else do we have in here? Some uh, lettuce and spinach that'll probably just die here. Cheese, butter, leftovers. I have like no Tupperware containers. I like got rid of them all. Um, and then we have my factor meals and ginger ale. I've been so nauseous again <laughs> towards the end of pregnancy and so I drink uh, ginger ale all day. I need to just get bigger cans. I don't know why I got the mini, but anyways, we have our factor meals in here. I'm actually going to grab one and heat one up. I also have the smoothies from them. So they're sponsoring today's video, but they are a godsend and I know that they will be a godsend during, um, postpartum as well because I know I'm not going to want to cook. So, um, what should we go with today? Um, Maybe the jalapeno lime cheddar chicken. Let's try this one. And as always, if you guys are not familiar with Factor Meals, they are fresh, never frozen, delivered right to your door. They actually taste good. And they have so many different options. They take two minutes. And yeah, so this one has the jalapeno lime cheddar chicken with cauliflower rice. So this one, is more of like a keto high protein option so they have keto they have something called protein plus uh vegetarian vegan something for everyone so i highly recommend them between moving and everything they've been so convenient coming in clutch when i don't have time to go to the grocery store or by the end of the day i'm just tired and i don't feel like cooking anything I just pop one of these in the microwave and um you're good to go i'm just gonna pop this in so two minutes later and we're already ready to go this i don't know if you guys remember but i had a uh shop staff where i made rattlesnake pasta this kind of gives that same vibe it's like um cheese and jalapeno and chicken and it's like a nice like creamy sauce super good but yeah i'm gonna go eat this off camera and then i'm gonna come back and Finished off the vlog with a Target and Amazon haul. Super random. I had a few packages just come in. Um, but yeah, if you guys are interested, you can go to factor75.com or head to the link below and use my code stuffletta 50 to get 50% off your first factor box. Great deal. Definitely check them out. All right, so let's see what we've got here. I did order a few things to put in my hospital bag that I need to start packing. So a lot of you guys said extra large, extra large, extra long phone chargers. So I got this pack of three. They're like the braided cords. Then I got this pack of five nursing bras. I wanted to bring one or two to the hospital with me. Um, I have some from Target that I've been using, but they don't have the clips. They're kind of just like the crossover ones. So I got this set on Amazon. It comes with five different colors, gray, black, nude, pink. So just a basic bra, and I did try these on already. These are a size large. Then I got this little Easter outfit, but they sent me the wrong size. But I thought this was adorable. It has the little bunnies on there, and then it looks like there's a cardigan, but it kind of just like goes over top but I thought this was super adorable. It's not a zipper up, but I figured for like a holiday, we can get by without it. It also has a little hat, but I think maybe I'll give this to my niece because she's, I mean, she's around six months. So I don't know if this will fit her or not, but it was like $10. So I don't know if I'm gonna send it back, but I definitely wanna get the newborn size for my baby girl. I keep wanting to say her name crazy any guesses put them in the comments oh so then i got a robe all of the robes that i have are like really thick fuzzy bathrobes and they are kind of just like huge to pack so i got this robe 
and it's kind of like that really soft like muslin is that the type of material i don't even know but i'll try it on for you guys and show you but it's super soft so here it is really pretty blush color the sleeves are not short but they're not long i don't like when the sleeves are like this on a robe like why are you doing that to my wrist my wrist needs warmth as well um but i thought this was like really cute I don't know. It's just like really soft and gives me a nice vibe. Then I got this Pink Stork Labor Prep Tea. I've tried this, I think like two nights in a row. And it's supposed to be for your third trimester. And it has uh, raspberry leaf tea, rose hip, um, chamomile, all these like different things that are supposed to help with your uterus and uterine wall strengthening support i don't know there's like 10,000 reviews on amazon and it has like four and a half stars so you can read the reviews and check it out for yourself it's not supposed to induce labor but it's supposed to kind of like prep your uterus and i think your cervix as well for labor so figure it can't hurt to try it out and it tastes really really good this is the sweetened one so you don't have to add any like extra sweetener normally with a lot of teas i'll add like a squirt of honey but this doesn't even need it and it's super good so um i like drinking it and another thing you guys recommended to pack in a hospital bag i feel like this is kind of huge though i didn't realize how big this is gonna be but you guys said a portable like battery powered fan but I think this will be nice to have anyway because when we travel, we always like to have a fan in the background. So if, even if I don't end up using this during my labor and delivery, we'll bring it on trips because we cannot sleep without a fan in our house. So I just got this one. Um, you could probably clip it onto a stroller too for summertime. So I got that. Then next I have these cozy fuzzy socks. And they have grippers on the bottom. A lot of you guys said to get these so your feet are nice and warm, but you don't slip and fall on the hospital floor. So I'm all about a fuzzy, cozy sock. So you don't have to pull my leg to order these. And they're super soft and just nice neutral colors. Then I'll just uh, show you some cute things that I got. I said this on Instagram the other day, but uh, at my shower, I got literally no <laughs> newborn clothes, like no newborn size. And I know it's like a heated debate, but at my last appointment, they told me I was measuring small. And so I'm thinking that I'll probably have a baby that's on the smaller side. And a lot of you said that you didn't get any newborn stuff because people told you don't get it, they'll grow it so fast. But then your baby's still wearing newborn size at three months. So. I've been trying to get more things. So I got a bunch of just like basic like sleepers and uh, onesies and things like that. But I wanted to get just like some cute stuff because um, I can't resist. And Target has like the most adorable things. So first and foremost, we got this little set. This is really fitting with the color palette I showed you guys earlier. But look at this little set. Look at it. It's so adorable. Everything is just like floral and cute. But this has a onesie pants and a little vest so we can mix and match you know right adorable and then i got this little set like i can't even deal with these spring vibes yellow polka dots like this is like a little ray of sunshine so a little sweatshirt with these little bloomers and then the last thing I got was this set. It has adorable little cherries all over it. Comes with a matching headband with a bow. And I like that these have the um, fold over like mitten things. I think those will come in handy. Everyone says like your babies like are always trying to scratch themselves. Um, and then it has like these cute little cherries on the feet. Adorable. Honestly, I just can't wait to see what this baby is going to look like. I have this like image in my head like when I picture her of what she's going to look like. But she probably won't look anything like that. She'll probably look just like Tommy. I have a feeling. Just because I feel like his family, they all look pretty similar. Like their genes are strong. And then like my family, I don't feel like anyone is like super identical looking. Except for my, da my dad and my little brother. They are very um, similar looking. But I don't know, I guess we'll see. We'll see. Or maybe she'll look like neither. I feel like sometimes people have a baby that looks like neither of the parents. So I just can't wait to see. 
and I can't wait to share with you guys the name. I don't think anyone will guess it. Uh, so far, I've not seen anyone guess it, so I can't wait. I can't wait. Um, but yeah, that is uh, gonna wrap up today's vlog. I will not lie to you. I've been feeling so incredibly nauseous and I'm feeling it start <laughs> to kick in. Sorry for getting a little bit negative and like down in the dumps at the beginning of the video. Hopefully you guys understand, but I will see you in my next video. And if you need me, I'll be laying over here on this couch.